Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you the Champs news live at 3. Uh, so we have a new week in the game. There's Looks like there's a, a Monday of cash event going on, and we got some other stuff as well. Um, actually going to start off today something new that I um, decided to do for the people that watch me on Twitch live with the Channel Point Redemptions, which is uh, you get channel points just for being in the stream, watching the stream. At a certain amount, you can redeem for a portal shout-out during the news. So uh, the first redeemer was, in fact, Godflow, who apparently is a top player. Who knew? So we're going to take a look at him on the portal and look at his roster. He says it's out of date, um, so I'm assuming he has some more five-star golds. Uh, there's Batista, Zombie Brian, Zombie Triple H, Hall of Fame Hogan, and Sako. Looks like um, Flo here has won almost 2,000 battles in the last 30 days. 91% um, win total all time. 97% uh, in the last 30 days. He's never missed a day since he started playing. 2.75 mil roster. 326 superstars owned. Um, by level, he's got 42 five stars. 192 four stars. 84 threes. 9 twos. And 1 one star. And then it breaks it down even by the errors and stuff. My man has 17 Hall of Famers. I think there's only 18 Hall of Famers in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so somebody get this man um, um, Hall of Fame Andre, as I think he's missing the uh, possibly the single best Hall of Fame card you could have. He is in my faction, the new Ministry. Um, so best feud rank, last 365 days, second. Oh, come on, man. You couldn't get a one in there? I'm just kidding. Second's pretty crazy. Um, a lot of feud wins all time. Yeah. Faction heals all time. Mine is probably lower. So, uh, Flo's got a really good roster and can score a lot of points in feud. No question. Uh, I'm definitely jelly of the Hall of Fame Hogan. My Batista's not 5-star gold yet. Um, and I'm not sure who his other 5-star gold is. He might tell me in chat uh, when I look at that, and we'll get back to that. But very nice roster flow, excellent stats, uh, crazy good feuder. So he is the very first uh, person to uh, redeem from the stream the live shout-out um, during the news. So there it is. Uh, so new week is out. Backstage Pass is here. You can see I have not purchased mine yet. Uh, we'll talk more about that when we get to the game, and I can talk about the offer that's in the game. It has a little more information than you see here um, on the portal. There's a reason why I personally haven't purchased it yet, and we'll cover that when we get to the in-game one. Um, there's some pretty cool cash combos. It's bonus stuff. I won't say free stuff because you're still paying uh, $19.99, but that's the normal price for $2,200 cash. There's a strap here, 200 TP. If you're a King Booker guy chasing the the, the shard recruit, the 3,000 shards, uh, this is going to be a pretty solid deal for your 99 bucks. Uh, if you're in that price bracket, I'm not. Um, uh, Seth Rollins' vision loot is up. We can talk about that. That was up over the weekend. You may have already seen it. Again, um, the $99 deal is still a really good one with 100 Booker shards. Um I do like this web exclusive coin galore. If you're short on coins, you can double dip that with the portal event and really kind of uh, move your coins up. For example, you could get this and you could get the backstage pass for $9.99 and then you're going to get an extra 4 million coin on the portal event right here um, for the $25 one because you would have spent 30. Uh, going to 50 is the best value as far as your coin. 50 bucks gets you 10 million bonus coin. Uh, so if you're short on coin, you may consider doing that if you're that kind of spender. Um, other than that, I don't think there was really anything new. Uh, don't forget to do your daily claim here. Um, I was expecting to see there's some more cash loot in the game with the cash event that's going on, which we'll talk about uh, in just a second. Here's a reminder to do your daily refresh of your flash market. Let's see if we get anything good today. Ooh, Blitz tickets. I will buy those. I get those every time. Yay. All right. We have a purchase today. So if you're still going for um, 
IOW Charlotte Flare, Icon Flare. Uh, the Charlotte Shards are a nice bonus, three times the XP. You'd want to get those every time they come up. You get 150 XP for the 50 you spent, so... Uh, the coin is also a three-time EXP one, so you, you want to get things like the coin as well. Um, so let's head back over to the game. We talked about the uh, the spend event that's on on the portal. That's always there. So let's go over to the game now. And uh, the pace as of today, um, MLC 190,000. And King Booker Shards, 1,143. That is no guarantee of maxing the event or recruiting Booker with the Shards. Um, but, yeah. That is the pace. And I want to go to the offer. We're also going to talk about a good setup for Showboat Paige. Uh, since she's needed in the tours today, a four-star setup for her. So the Backstage Pass offer... This is this. So if you notice, it says purchase this pack for access to exclusive free claim. That's the seven bags, which we got last week and special deals all week and weekend. That is what we didn't get last week. Um, so I'm waiting to buy mine. I may not buy it at all. Um, it's a, still a great value at $9.99. You get a lot of stuff in there. That's good value. Um, but there wasn't the exclusive um, weekend deal um from the backstage pass so as of right now i'm planning on not buying it unless um i see that stuff show up first uh that's just me so wasn't a fan of that part of it last week it's still good value uh i'm just not getting it this week so here's some of the more of the bonus cash cash stuff if you want to do the cash event we'll take a look at that too right after this because there's some uh fairly easy to hit milestones here's four million uh bonus coin uh, on top of the cash, so if you're short coin, that's a nice one. I wish that was on the portal so you could double dip that. And then, um, if you're a Hall of Fame token person, there's this one. I think the Booker Shard's probably better for people in that price bracket. Uh, let's take a look at this cash event, actually. It's for, um, Boogeyman. So, if you're close to Boogeyman, I was right at around 1,000 shards. This 23,000 is a really good milestone to go for without having to spend a lot of cash. Pick up a few Boogeyman shards, maybe get lucky, pull them from the bag. Uh, for me, it's just trying to get closer to him. After that, it gets really expensive, so um, you'll want to look into if it's worth it to you. If you have the cash, if you're close to rec recruiting boogie Boogeyman, then sure. But most people probably aren't. I was barely half. I think it was under halfway. I'm just over halfway now. Um, so I decided to go to this milestone because it really didn't take that much cash. 2300 um, and 56 to be exact. Um, and it, I feel like the shards I got for that were worth the return. So I think it's good value going to there. After that, uh, I would only do it if you're close to Boogeyman. But it's worth doing it to give yourself a shot, in my opinion, at pulling him. Or to um, get those shards at a reduced rate from what you'd normally have to pay. Um, so that's that one. Back to the store. Um, backstage pass, like I said, you still get your seven free bags. It's not like anything else like that. These ones are up again. I did do a token case one of the 1250. Mine was really not good this week. Um, but, you know, the Hall of Fame ones are in there. I've had better luck with this one than the one on the left. Uh, step up pass, I still think the first one is pretty good value if you want solo points. Uh, I'm not going to get it this week. I feel pretty good about where I'm at in the solo. Uh, so I'm going to hang back until next week if I need to. Uh, don't forget to get your free daily claim. I think that's the only new stuff here. Uh, so let's take a look at a good uh, setup for Showboat Page. Um, and how I ran around the tours. I do have her elf gear. Uh, so keep that in mind. It does help with plus three to all colors. Uh, but um, we can just run a really quick match with it. So you guys can see. I go with the super sub setup because her monthly bonus has a 250% boost to the sub. Uh, so we got ZKO. We got Austin. Um, I got Shelton on there. And then Bailey for more protect gems. This one, uh, if I get... I have plus two tour perks. So if I get a yellow match on turn one, turn two, the sub is ready. Turn three, I throw the protect gems out and hit the finisher. That usually does it. Um, I bring props for the harder stuff as well. 
if I had RJ, a uh, Rocky Johnson, he would be super clutch uh, for coach, but I don't have RJ. I'm like 28 shards away. Uh, but you should be able to do this with Paige, given her monthly bonus with the sub. Uh, if you have a couple black MP up props, in case you hit a bad board, that'll help even more. Uh, yellow one, too, if you want. You don't need those, but the help. I did not get the yellow match turn one that I was looking for, uh, but that's okay. You Hawk, thank you for the follow, man, and welcome to the stream. Um, instead of using the sub, uh, if I had a yellow match, I could have pot potentially taken the yellow match. Because um, she's not ready to hit a move. Could have delayed it a turn if I wanted to. Um, there's different ways you can do the sub. Really though, since it's for a video, I probably... I'm just trying to go quick. So you guys don't have to watch the match too long. But you can see, it takes a bunch of life off with that sub. Um, and it loads super easy. So we're going to get it loaded and then some here. And then we'll just hit the sub again, get some more protect gems out, and then I'll hit the finisher and see if that'll keep Lacey down. He does throw out a lot of the leech gems. We're not going to take too much damage because we have protect gems out. Let's get rid of those leech gems. But yeah, uh, the tour shouldn't be too hard with her, even if you don't have the elf gear. A lot of people do have it, but even if you don't have it, um, her move, her sub loads pretty easy. So just bulk up on that sub, and uh, even if it takes you a couple tries, I think you can do it even without props. Um, for sure, if you get your matches, even without the elf gear. It just might take a little bit. You can see we already have her almost dead. I haven't used a prop. Um, we're not losing much life. Let's see if it's enough to keep her down. Again, if I had a black match, I would just take that, <clears throat> load the sub, and finish it next turn. The finisher buffs the uh, sub jump gem strength. She did kick out. And just to show it again, there's the moves. Board is not cooperating really, no surprise. Um, there we go. There's a five match. That's helpful. The leech gems get pretty annoying with Lacey. And, uh, enough of this. Let's just use the prop so we can get this over with, and then I can show you guys the loots that are left. But I think this is the, the build set to go with um, for this week with her, especially with her month-long bonus. Very good sub. All right, so now we'll take a look at those uh, loots that are new, go over those, and that'll be the news for today. Uh, so the Boogeyman is the cash loot. A lot of tiers in this one. A lot, a lot of tiers. Um, you got a lot of good cards at the top here. Demon Balor is not so much. So there's also there's some pretty rough ones in the featured if you hit featured. Um, the shards, there's not a ton of them. It's not the worst, but the percentage is pretty low, 1%. And you're getting 31, so it's not a 40 pull. Uh, so featured pretty pretty unlikely, to be honest, um, on a 31 pull. 
and even if you do um, pretty rough so you know next tier down 1.34 percent that's basically the same uh, no shards though uh, but you do have ruthless aggression Cena cactus Jack and the last outlaw um, super rare you got one two three kid in there again not the best odds um, I don't love this cash loot I I I did a four pull on it um, I got lucky I hit 80 um, boogeyman shards um, and I feel like that was pretty lucky I just did a four pull to do a four pull um, for the event I could have used my cash better though on the tokens I probably should have done another Hall of Fame token pull instead um, so it's not the best cash loot. It's not the worst. If you're really close to Boogie, though, you know, and a few shards put you over along with the event, then I'd say go for that. But I'm not a fan of that cash loot, personally. Uh, last week's premium loot, much, much better than this week's. 2.75% chance on featured isn't bad. Uh, but we got, you know, Drew's in there. And then Brock's in there. Two free cards in there that were given away in Wendy and Sika. Um... And then there's a bunch of shards. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different shards on top of four different, five different t shirts potentially. So very diluted. Um, last week's was much better. Not the, the biggest fan of this week's. Um, I would be inclined to wait to week three to see if there's a better one if I was going to pull. Um, if you want to, obviously go for it. Uh, but I think last week's was better. Maybe week, week threes will be better than this. Maybe an exception if you're looking for shards of one of the specific guys, if you're really close. Um, but again, even these shards, I mean, not so much, you know? Last week's was a lot better. So uh, not one I'm going for this week. The Seth Rollins Vision Loot, um, that's the same one from his event. As I recall, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't amazing. Um, yeah, the shards aren't really that bad, and there's not a lot of stuff in the feature. Not the highest odds at 1.66, but it's not diluted really heavy, and there's a lot of Seth in there. Um, so if he's what you're going for, eh, maybe not the worst one. Next, into the next tier, you got Miz in there, who definitely is awesome. Uh, 3% chance on that one. Snoop's in there. A couple Hall of Famers. Uh, so that one's not terrible. You do, of course, have the Kane and Asuka in there, which are not that exciting at all. Uh, super rare is, uh, it's okay, you know? And very rare, Seth shards again, if you're close to Seth. Maybe that's the route you, you're going. Okay. Um, not the best loot either. Um, in the commons, you can get Miz shards. So if I was close to Miz, then I might be thinking about this one again. This isn't actually the best set of loot. Uh, we've ever had so I'm gonna do my briefcase pulls and at least in my opinion it's not and see if I get anything good mm, nothing exciting okay guys well that's the news for today we'll be back tomorrow um, I'm sure we'll have blitz or some other kind of thing tomorrow um, so thanks for watching guys let me know what you think in the comments and uh, show up on Twitch earn some channel points and uh, get a shout out on the portal thanks for watching guys good luck out there